Hello guys and welcome to my 24th video of this factory series where I'm gonna teach you from beginner level to somewhat expert level. So last time I fixed the steel better than the last video, but still it's not that good to my demand. So today I'm gonna fix it further. Now I'm not gonna promise you that this will be fixed 100%. I really can't. But I'm gonna try my best and I'm gonna show you the steps for you as a beginner in case if you have the same problem that you are lacking a certain resource and that resource is not really keeping up with the current demand so for now I'm gonna grab the underground builds logistic free and the builds for logistic free and I wanna replace as much as possible of the logistic to of the mining site that is related to the steel smelting site with the logistic frame until I collect more now after that I can put more miners into the iron to make the iron even better after that I can put modules into these furnaces to make them even better that's it again that is the only thing I can do again there's something else I can do better than that but I didn't explain how would you benefit from that specific entity? So until then, I'm not gonna really explain it. Yeah, because I wanna show you how would you deal with a, a resource that doesn't keeping up with your current demand. Like for example, steel. In my case, steel is not really keeping up at all, as you can see. I may go. I have changed the smithing site itself first to logistic free it's okay for the output to be logistic too because the output for me is still not good enough it's empty so for me it's okay but if your output is filled you can upgrade your output to logistic free but in my case I don't have to I'm gonna continue upgrading as much as possible just change everything to logistic free when I am out of logistic free I'm gonna work on the mining side If you hold your left click, it will replace every entity automatically. You don't have to actually manually select it. That's also something I actually discovered recently. Yeah, I don't usually do that, but there you go. You can just hold left click, it will just change everything, including underground builds. But I don't know if that applies to the splitters. But I don't think so. Maybe that only applies to the belt and the underground belt. And there you go. Now let's see after all of this. Would be this good enough? One way to find out. I'm gonna remove this one. Actually this was kinda enough. Eh? I'm breast. <laughs> kinda. But oh my god. No, actually, that was one. Oh my god. Was enough for all of this. Okay, now I have upgraded the mining site to logistic free, which is the best thing in vanilla. So, what left now? If we're still not keeping up, so what left? Again, modules. You can extend your mining site. You can put modules into your miners or into your smithing site itself, as I said. So, let's see how would we do that. Yeah, I wanna see now after the logistic free. Is this good enough? Let's see. I mean, I can see from now, without even reaching the smithing side, the ratio of the iron is not really good for the steel demand or for the smelting demand, to be specific here. So yeah, probably I'm gonna end up making more miners here. Also, I'm gonna upgrade the secondary built here to logistic free yeah now oh, there you go this is good this is the best I can do so there you go this is 100% now what I need more miners to make my smithing side better let's work on that now now I'm gonna duplicate this one twice and let's see about that Oh, 
Also, you can make your robots help you like you do. You have to put a robot here in the end, and you have to make everything that is required here available into a passive chest. Then your construction robot will go here and build the mining site for you. And again, don't get disencouraged if your resource is not really keeping up. It's okay. Even if this ore is not enough to my demand, I can still use another ore. It's okay. For now, I'm gonna use Logistic 2 because I don't have Logistic 3. It's okay. Later on, I'm gonna use Logistic 3. And again, upgrading to Logistic 3 wasn't really the fix. It wasn't. In my case, I need more input. I need more miners here for my mining set to fill my steel demand better. So let's see after all of this. Will this be enough? One way to find out. And again, if this is not good enough, you can go and use another ore. In my case, I still have this ore. I haven't used it. This one has one a million and a half. I can use this one too for the steel. Again, you're really not stuck. So please don't get discouraged or don't think like, oh my God, it is over now. I can't really fix my resource. No, no. It's okay. You can use any ore in the vicinity and fill smelting site with the requested resource. It's okay. You can use the trains too. In my case, I can use the trains for these. These are actually far, as I said in one of our videos, it is actually recommended to use them. But since these are logistic free, it's okay. They're not as fast as the train, obviously, but they're still fast. Now you can use the same method. You connect these two to a fork, and you connect these two for So like so. It's okay, later I'm gonna change the bits to logistic free, it's okay. And I'm gonna connect this to the old one. And I'm gonna make this one as a fork and connect this one with a fork like so. There you go. And there. That's it. And go back to the steel. I used most of the ore, not the whole ore, but let's see, is this gonna be enough? One way to find out. If this is still not enough, then what left is either module or you use other ores, like I just said to you. And there's a balancer here, so you don't have to balance them from there. You don't. As long as you have that resource in the vicinity, like here, you can use more and more and more. But again, you have to pay attention to the radius. You have to pay attention to the power. Now let's see. You have to remember, one of the builds fast built, the other is express built. But let's see. Actually, now it's keeping up better. It's keeping up better, yeah. Now it's filled. But the smelting itself is actually slow. So what left now? I can make modules, speed modules, for the furnaces that smelt steel for me. And make the steel faster for me. Yeah, that is only the thing I can do for now. Again, there's other things I can do. But since the input of the ore is filled, as you can see, see, both of them are filled now completely. So what left is now to make the furnaces faster. That only applies to electric furnace. But also my power, it's yellow. See, it's yellow, so I need more power. So you have to pay attention, what is the problem here? Why they are not fast? So I need more power here. So before I actually put any module here, I want to make them, all of them, green. Not yellow. Yellow is not good. That's why you have to check on your power. And I'm glad I have checked it before I bought the modules. That would be a bigger problem. So now I'm gonna go and get some solar panel and accumulators. And I'm gonna get substation. And I'm gonna make another solar panel grid. Remember, they are extendable. So it's okay. You can go indefinitely. And you can 
support your power amazingly it's okay i'm gonna grab 100 from here and i'm gonna grab these from here and see that's just two smelting sites that use full electric furnaces so imagine if i'm gonna upgrade all the smelting sites to full electric furnaces now that would be a problem that's why you shouldn't go excessive immediately you can do it gradually gradually and until your radius is good until your power can handle that gradually yeah it's okay you don't have to rush it i'm gonna go to my solar panel grid and then i'm gonna build them manually also you can connect your robot to your solar panel grid and let your robot build that for you again that's also a choice but i don't wanna Put a robo board from my base to that. It's okay. I don't. Also, I'm gonna let my robots build another station here. Like so. Is this within my. Okay, this is within the construction area. So my robots can go and build this one. Okay, that is good. Yeah, I want to make more stations here. Again, I'm doing both at the same time. And that's how you don't lose any time. Your robots work on something, you work on something else. Let's see the power now. It's green in day because they are supported by the solar panel. But the accumulators are not enough to support the night without the solar panel. So that's why you need more solar panel here and more accumulators too. But after I am done with this grid, and you can build this grid over horizontally first or vertically but it is better to put the accumulators around the substation first when you can bless them easier like so just holding the left click here and that's it 720 megajoules is not enough for my best to last at night i need more solar panels here yeah this is not good enough and i'm gonna create another blueprint Mm, this one goes to the water, but you can use landfill here. So let's see. I want to use landfill. Do I have landfill? That is good. Yeah, this is going to be the last grid here. And see, landfill make you basically shape the map however you want. It's okay. As long as you have landfill. Now I can place it again on the old and uh, this is exactly where I'm gonna put it. There you go. Also, I'm gonna remove every cliff here. I don't have a cliff explosive this time. Hmm. But for now, I'm gonna place the substations. I'm gonna connect these accumulators to my power grid. These accumulators will be beneficial at night. Because I need more than that. Yeah. Ah, because now it's night. See, the accumulators are not working. There's no power for them to work anyway. The accumulator charge is decreasing because I am at night. And see, it's not enough to keep up at night. See, I'm still at night. Once the charge is done, see, the satisfaction turns from green to yellow. At night, only at night. So yeah, my accumulators are not enough to keep my power going green at night but on day it's okay because i have solar panel yeah but i need to improve this grid i have to improve and again see this is just two smelting sites and now see we are charging because now i am on day when the day begins we are charging again but the charge is not enough for the night you have to pay attention in my situation it's not so i have to increase the accumulators that's why i'm increasing accumulators too so the charge can last for the whole night. I'm trying to place as many accumulators as possible here. Because there are cliffs here, that's why. And I don't have the cliff explosive. I'm gonna return and I'm gonna get them. But when I'm done, we're placing as many accumulators as possible. Now I have one gigajoule of charge. That is a progress. But let's see if that's enough. At night. You only can see that if it's enough or not at night. Only at night. Yeah, but I have to go back now and get cliff explosive 
and grab more solar panels here. Yeah. And again, this is the smeltic site without modules. So imagine if I'm going to increase every fairness by 100% energy consumption because I'm going to use speed module 1. And this is speed module 1. So imagine if I'm going to use speed module 3, which is energy consumption plus 70%. See how much you have to be attention to that. Yeah, because Cerebral also need steel. My mega mold can't really craft Cerebral until I actually fix my steel. Yeah. So for now, I'm going to make them manually. I'm going to just grab some steel here on the main bus. And for me to get some of it, it's okay. But to leave it without any priority, that would be worse. So yeah. There's a difference here. Between uh, grabbing some of it on the main bus or make no priority. That would be worse. And as you can see, the radius has reached here now. Now this called chunk in this game. If you press F5, you can see it's a chunk. And these are the chunks. What I'm talking about, this square for example, this square is a chunk. The other one that is beside it is a chunk. Let's see, is this enough? 1.1 1 .1 gigajoule. So I can increase the accumulator's quantity here. Because that is the only thing you can do for the chart, is to increase the accumulator's quantity. That's why I said you need space for the solar panel grid. And as you can see, the electric furnace, the 96 electric furnace, Consume 17.5 megawatt alone. So that's why. And this is without modules too. You have to pay attention. This is without modules. Again, I want to see if the charge would keep my base running at night. And see it becomes slower and slower. When you are closer to the day, it becomes slower. It's slower and then it will increase gradually. Slower, see? So now my accumulator charge can keep my base running at night. And I still have 300 megajoule. That's actually good. So, but you can increase the charge even more. Because you have to remember, in my case, I'm gonna put also modules. So again, the modules will make a huge energy consumption increase. So that's why I have to also put more accumulators and more solar panels perhaps to keep my power green on day at night too. So you have to pay attention to that. I'm gonna get rid of these cliffs. All of them. I'm gonna get rid of these trees by shopping them. Or if you have grenades, unlike me, you can use the grenades. I'm gonna also get rid of the rest of the accumulators, so I'm gonna make another blueprint here for the solar panel grid. Again, they are beneficial. Also, I'm gonna use modules, that's what. I just have 12 anyway. And again, you can let your robots build this for you, if you have these items in your mega mall. Make sure that you can see your radius. All of it. Nothing in the fog of war or something. Because the fog of war, for example, here, there's a nest in the fog of war. So, yeah. I can see it here, but I can't see it from the south, for example. So, that's why. So, make sure that you can see your radius in case if it is near a nest here or there. Else, your base will get attacked without you knowing where. And that would be bad too. Now I'm at night, let's see if the charge will keep up. I mean, it should be keeping up, because I didn't really increase the power demand yet. But you have to pay attention after, for example, you bought the modules. And now you see how the accumulators work in practice. That took a bit, huh? <laughs> that took a bit. I wanted to show you that at some point, but I couldn't show that to you practically. And now you can see them, how they work at night, how they charge the power for me. I want to upgrade the speed of the furnaces. Again, for now this would be the best thing I can do. But you have to pay attention to the power and to the radius, please. Especially in my case, I don't want to go excessive because I have here one, two, three, four nests. And here is the fifth one too. Or I don't know, maybe the sixth one too. 
So I have to pay attention to that. So I probably am gonna just go graduate. Graduate. I wanna put Madis and check the man. But it is. Yeah. And also I wanna check the bar. Because also now the capabilities are working now. And that means the steam is not really working fully. Yeah. But the steam is kinda better. It's not really filled or something. It's not that amazing. Yeah. That's why I'm trying to use the Madis. So I have 96 steel furnace, so I need 96 modules. Yeah, because I'm gonna just use them for the steel furnace, not for the iron. And it's okay, you can use them on all of them, obviously. But again, that would be very excessive. You have to pay attention to it. I'm just crafting a speed module one manually. That's it. I'm not gonna craft two or three. That would be, oh my god, that would be bad. As many as possible. And again, I'm gonna put them gradually. I'm not gonna just put them all together. No, that would be a bad idea. That's what I recommend you to do. Put them gradually. Don't put them all together. Else your power will get a spike and probably your power will not be able to keep up with the new demand at all. So you have to pay attention to that. It's okay. Go gradual. Even if the things are worse in your base, like mine, don't go immediately fixing everything. No. Do it gradually. Don't create a bigger problem just to fix a small problem. That's what I'm trying to say here. Ah, this one does it have an uh, inserter. Okay, I need an inserter here. I'm glad I have noticed that one. By the way, guys, if you notice anything that probably I missed something here or there, because believe me, I am susceptible to that, obviously. You can leave a comment, and believe me, I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna research the rest of the research for the purple bag. Actually, I'm almost done with the purple bag. <laughs> Before even fixing the steel. That's how much that took, huh? The steel actually is a problem. It's not even a joke. And now the iron also is bad, but I made the iron train, obviously. I haven't made the stack because I was occupied with the steel problem. That's what. So I need here another. That's it. Yeah, this is not keeping up. Also, I need this to be fastened. Let's see if I miss something here or there. Uh, not really. I didn't really miss anything. But these two inserts. Now, after this, now you have upgraded your belts. You have upgraded your smithic side to electric side. You have enough power to handle your current demand that you think you need. You are not having any nest nearby. What you can do is you can put your modules gradually. Again, don't put them all together. That would be bad. Please. So I'm going to put two. And let's see. I want to check every electric furnace. And see now the crafting speed is 2.8. So yeah, as you can see, even with the speed module, speed module one, though. Not two or three or something. This is not good enough. So what left now for me? I can use beacons. Not gonna talk about them for now, but I can use them. Or I can duplicate the smelting site. So make four. I make each two connected to one output belt to feed my main bus for the steel. But 2.8 with the speed module, as you can see, it's not really Fast enough, it's not. So you can also use speed module too, but I really can't in my situation because I need a processing unit. As you can see, the input of the iron is actually faster than the fast inserter. Yeah, but it's not as fast as the smelting, so it's okay to leave fast inserters as they are. If they're actually faster than the fast inserter, that means you can use the stack inserters. Which obviously the best thing you can use. So you can place stack inserters here in the middle. All in the middle. But obviously you can use them on all the smithic side. Okay, I'm gonna increase more. Again, I'm just doing this gradually. I don't wanna like, oh my god, let's put all of them all together. That would be a bad idea. Again, don't go excessive. Having this problem is still better than your base would be attacked or your bar would be red. Yeah, it's better. It's not, oh my god, you made a blender. No, no, of course not. But it's still better. By the way, you can extend this smelting site too. Yeah, I know that I said the optimal is uh, 24, 
which is best for optimal 24. But as I said in the beginning of the series, you can increase them to 48 if you really want. It's okay. In this situation, because both of them are filled completely, you can increase them. But it's also a solution. You have to pay attention that you are in a real world. You can't really increase them that much. Or you can change your rail based on the smeltic side. It's okay. You're not really stuck, as I said. But for now, that would be my last result, is to actually duplicate them to 40. Because I see that the iron is very good. The iron is filled on all of them. That means, and the speed of the smelting is not good, even with the speed matches. Yeah, it's not that good. That's why I wanna actually duplicate them. That would be my last result after I use the beacons. Yeah, I wanna use the beacons too. But that would be on the next episode, yeah, when I talk about the beacons. And how would you benefit from the beacons too? But that means I'm gonna change the design one more time, yeah. Make sure that whenever you're gonna put the speed module, that your radius is good enough, the power is still good. If the power is not good, you can remove that module. Select that furnace and get that module back to your inventory. It's okay. Until you fix the power. You don't have to do it immediately, again. Do it gradually. But oh my god, the steel problem actually, that took maybe four sessions of this series. And still not good enough. The steel is still not good enough. But this is good for a beginner. Don't get me wrong. So whenever you are having a problem, you know what the steps you have to do in order to fix your problem. And hopefully all of these parts that regarding to the steel showed you what can you do to actually optimize the input, the output. Yeah. Now I'm at night, I wanna see if the accumulators are good enough with the current power demand, because as you can see now, the electric furnaces are using 19.1 megawatt. So they have increased additionally to megawatt. And that to the modules, see, that is the problem. You have to pay attention to that. The charge is increasing rapidly here. But I want to see when it's gonna become slower and slower. Will that be very close to the maybe 50? And I actually recommend you make a stop when it reaches below 100 megajoule. That's it. Yeah, don't make it go rapidly at 100 megajoule. Yeah, you can stop at 100 megajoule. Maybe at worst 50 megajoule. That's it. But after that, that would be a problem, and that means your power would be bad at the end of the night. But see, now it becomes slower and slower and slower, and I'm still having 400 megajoule. That is good. But I want to see when this is going to increase again, a gradual. There you go. So 450 megajoule. That is good. I still have a space for myself to put more modules. And that for the power. For the radius, my radius didn't really increase that much. See, this is where the chunk, the last chunk was, and didn't really reach another chunk. So it's okay, I can increase the radius even more. This is how you tell that you can increase the demand or the modules more and more and more, without affecting your base. I wanna put here another tool, Another two, another two, but see. And see now the iron is not really keeping up with the steel. Yeah, there's not enough now iron. So also you, again, you can put modules here too. Hopefully these steps are beneficial to you or informative to you. And again, this is all of this is part of the series, I know. I know this took so much from the series, but this is also part of the series. All of this is beneficial for beginner, so it's okay. The purpose of this series is not to finish the game and launch the rocket, and that's about it. No, it's to make it informative for you as a beginner until you become somewhat expert, and then we launch the rocket. So you will get out of this series, at least have some sort of information. How would you begin, and how would you play, or have some sort of an idea how would you have a style of your own. That is the purpose of this series. Not to finish the game, like, oh my god, let's rush everything and launch the rocket. This is not a speed run. 
this is an educational and formative series for those who need these information and hopefully this information you actually need them I don't know I didn't really get any comment on this series whether this is beneficial or this is not beneficial so that's why I didn't really change my style or improve something that could have been improved or something like there's nothing there's no feedback on this series and that makes me sad but again what I'm doing here hopefully is good for you if you have discovered this series as a new viewer welcome aboard to this channel and this channel is for gaming it's not for anything else I'm gonna put also more modules here let's see and as you can see actually the steel becomes better at least here on this build yeah, the belt that I put the module into. Yeah, they are faster. 2.8. Normally, they are 2. The electric furnace. And that's why, as I said, the electric furnace is better than the steel. Because you can increase their speed or productivity or efficiency, you know. I remember all of this is speed module 1. So this is the worst speed module. So if this is not good enough for you, you can again use speed module 2 or speed module 3. You can use beacon. To make them even faster, we haven't talked about beacon again. I'm gonna talk about it in the next episode because I'm gonna probably end up using beacons. But that after I extend them, I wanna extend them to 48 first. I wanna see, as I said, all four belts here are filled completely. So I wanna extend them. I wanna see if I extend them, will this fix the problem? If this doesn't fix the problem, I'm gonna put beacons. Then I'm gonna upgrade the modules to module 2, to module 3. So that's it. That is the only thing you can do here. That's it. Also, you can increase the quantity of the smithic side. Instead of 2, you can put 4, 6, 8. You're really not stuck. And these information are good for you as a beginner. If you think that, oh my god, I'm stuck now. No, you're not stuck. See, whenever I'm gonna put a module, I'm looking at my radius here. See, the radius is decreasing now, as you can see. It's decreasing and increasing. It's fluctuating. And at night, you can look at your accumulator chart to see what it traces. And again, I recommend you to stop at 100 megajoule. If you want to exceed it, you can go to 50 megajoule. And that would be slow. At 50 megajoule, it should be slow, not fast. That is the catch. I remember this is just one smithic side. We have fixed the smelting of the steel. Only the smelting of the steel. You can again put speed modules into the furnaces that smelt iron for you. Please. I didn't put anything. Also, you can duplicate. Oh, it's okay. Again, you are not really stuck. So let's see. After this, now I have put every speed module here into every furnace that smelt steel for me. Let's see if this is going to be enough for me. One way to find out. I want to also test a speed module onto this one, let's see. I want to see the difference between this and this. I want to see if I'm going to put a speed module onto the iron one. Will that affect the speed of the overall speed? Because the iron is not really getting into the steel fast enough too. So this goes like three, four, mm -hmm. this one, one. To, okay, this is actually slower too. So yeah, this is actually better. To put also speed modules and to be is actually better. But again, you have to pay attention to the power. You have to pay attention to the radio. So yeah, next time I'm gonna put speed modules into these two. I wanna test that too. I wanna see if this gonna be enough. If this would not be enough, I'm gonna use beacons. And I'm gonna talk about beacons. Then after that, if all of that does it make my still keeping up with my demand when I'm gonna extend them and that would be the last thing I can do after that I can duplicate the blueprint and put another one beside it it's okay again you're not really stuck you can make 200 dismantic side of the steel it's okay you're not really stuck believe me this is not a rule that you have to have two dismantic sides for steel no you're not that depends on your demand again you can, for example, pick an area here and put all of it for steel smelting side. Like for example, this one. Iron ore 10 million here. I can use this 10 million for the steel. I can make here a huge 
smelting cipher still. I'm gonna use electric furnace, for example. But that will need a lot of power, massive power. So you have to pay attention to that. But see, your battery is stuck. I'm telling you that what you can do as a player or as a beginner. Don't think that you are, oh my God, I'm stuck now. No, you're not. In fact, tell you, you will never be stuck. Never. And it's okay. Don't rush. Don't rush. If you think your resource is bad, improve that production until it reach that ratio demand, your best demand for that. A specific resource, then you can continue. It's okay. This is not a speed run. I want to finish the game now. No, this is not the purpose of this series. The purpose of this series is to make your space going smoothly. And this is not going smoothly. See? The steel is not going smoothly at all. Barely. Barely. So I have to fix that. And you have to fix that too as a beginner. Anyway, hopefully what I did today was informative for you as a beginner. And if you got any question, any comment, anything that you want to support the channel with, believe me, I would be grateful if you subscribe, if you left a like, if you share this among your family or a friend. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next Factorio video.